Hey guys, so I am back with another makeup tutorial and I've been planning this one for a couple weeks now doing a couple different versions and I decided that this makeup today, which is on this half of my face, is my 2013 prom makeup tutorial. So I have never done a prom makeup tutorial in the five years I've been on YouTube, which is crazy. So my goal this year was to really do one and to do one using all drugstore makeup. And I'm using my Sedona Lace Vortex brush collection. So um, I was inspired to do this look because I did a couple of teens for an event and I noticed that they all wanted smoky eyes and bright lips. <laughs> so I thought that these eyes were a classic look that goes with any dress, like the silver smoky eye. Not too, too, too dramatic where your parents are going to be mad at you, I don't think. Um, and the lip is really, really fun and makes it really young. And then I'm also going to give you a more of a nude kind of pinky lip option if you don't want to do a really bright lip. And in general, this, lip is, this look is really good for any going out event, whether it's prom, some kind of homecoming, going out. So I'm going to walk you guys through this tutorial. It's going to be a talk through tutorial since I'm going to kind of give you more in-depth steps. So let's get started. So as you can see, this eye is done. This um, face side right here is completely untouched. So I'm going to start with a primer. This is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, a primer is really important for an event because it will make your makeup last all night and help prevent any oilies from coming through. Make your makeup go on smooth and look better. So I did that. Next I'm going to move on to priming the eyelid using L'Oreal Magic Decrease. I like that this has a tint to it because it will not only prevent your makeup on your eyes from creasing, but it also covers up discoloration. So I'm just going to rub that in all over to from the bottom up to the brow and then underneath on my lower lash line with my ring finger. Always use your ring finger when you're going around your eye because it's the most gentle finger. Okay, so now let's go ahead and jump right into eyeshadows. I'm using two drugstore palettes, the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Eyeshadow Palette in Smoky Eyes. It's a great basic smoky palette. One looks really similar is the um, Revlon Photo Ready Renaissance Palette. So you can use either of these palettes because they're very, very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to take it, my flat synthetic brush and I'm going to wet the brush a little bit with a little water so it's damp. And then I'm going to apply the silver shade. And I'm using the wet brush so that kind of gives like a foiled metallic finish. So I'm patting it on. As you can see, it almost looks like a cream shadow now. It's really, really vibrant. This will go well with any skin tone. And I'm just kind of covering the lid. Like that. And it's really gorgeous. This look will definitely go with a lot of dresses. So now what I'm going to do is flip to the L'Oreal palette and then turn my brush over to the clean side. And I'm going to get this really shimmery champagne color in the middle. Any like bright shimmery color will do. And I'm going to tap it right in the middle of my eyes. This will really brighten up the lid, give it a lot more dimension, and it kind of lightens up the look. So just right in the middle and then just like kind of sweep onto the edges to blend it in. Like that. Now you're just going to take your um, blender brush. This is a synthetic blender. I'm going to dot it into the shadow, the silver shadow, and tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to blend out those edges. And when I use the shadow dry, it's not as vibrant, but it still helps to help blend out that color. So blendy, 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 windshield wiper motions. Okay, now we're going to take this purpley color right here. It's actually more of a really dark, dark purple, and it's a great option to do that to smoke out my eye as opposed to black because it's not as harsh and um, it's just like it's a really kind of a different shade so I'm taking my point of crease brush and now I'm going to fit it into this little line right here like connecting up 
and I'm shaping my outer V and I'm going really lightly. The reason is it's because it's easier to build dark colors than like in light layers and kind of going all the way around. So I'm taking it and I'm darkening this outer V, filling in that little gap right here. You can pat it, pat, pat if you want more coverage. And then I'm going to take just the very tip of it, tap off the excess, and go all the way into this inner corner to darken there too. And then I'm just going to follow my little crease and go all the way around like this. Windshield wipe promotion. This not only opens the posits to color, but it helps blend it out. So just blend it. And then you can apply a little bit more to build the color. Just keep applying it in light layers to build the color. And you really want to do light layers of the eyeshadow because it looks more professional when you just have layers that kind of build upon each other. And then also, when you have multiple layers, it lasts a lot longer than just one layer of eyeshadow. So that's really great for lasting all night through dancing and, you know, going out to eat and all that stuff. So there is your beginning of the smoky eye. Now what I'm going to do is go to my bronzer. This is a Milani Extra Large Bronzer. I'm going to take my Universal Blender Brush and get the light side. And this is going to go right above as our crease transition color. And this is going to help warm up the look and also blend out any harsh edges. So we're going to pause it right there. Okay. And then, really easy, right? So let's move on to the brows. I kind of like to do my brows after um, some of the eyeshadow, and this is why. Because when you do your brows, afterward you can put a little concealer to shape them, and the concealer also will help as acting as a highlight for your eyeshadow. So I'm just taking this Prestige Brow Pencil in medium brown. Again, a drugstore brand, Prestige. You can get at CVS, Rite Aid. And I'm going in really light strokes, and what I like to do first is underline the brow on the bottom and then bring it up like that so I can start to form where I want my arch. Take the top, on the top of the brow. Meet that little part right there. And then I'm just gonna bring it down and create the little wing. So that's the shape I'm doing. And then I like to just kinda really lightly fill it in. And then once I kind of have some of the color in, I'll take my brow brush and then I'll just kind of run it through and disperse that color. And at the front, I just kind of like to dot it around to just kind of fade it out. And then I pull the color through. Like that. Okay, and then whenever I need some more color, now I'll go back in with the pencil. And I'll do really light strokes. Okay. And it's okay if it's not perfect because you'll be cleaning it up with concealer, which is what I'm about to do. So I'm going to take the Magic Lumi concealer from L'Oreal, shade medium. Now I'm gonna take that same synthetic brush I was using and just kinda wipe it off. I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer from the brush and then I'm gonna go right underneath my brow and clean it up. Now as you can see, it kinda lightens up the brow underneath, giving it a natural highlight, which is why I like to save this step for kinda after the eyeshadow. And it also cleans up my eyebrow because any excess product is cleaned up. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, which you can definitely do this, you don't have to have a special brow highlighting powder. You can just take your powder. This is um, a translucent powder from Neutrogena. Take your powder and a little brush and then you can set underneath where you have that concealer and this will act also as your brow highlight. So just sit right there. And if you want, you could go above that as well and just kind of clean up because this this doesn't have any product on it, so it's kind of like cleaning up the edges. 
so now I'm just going to be OCD and just kind of match this side with the other side because you want your brows to match as best you can. So now I'm going to move on to liner. I am going to use gel liner from Wet n Wild. I like gel liner because it's a little bit easier than liquid liner and it gives a nice really precise dark black line. So I'm going to use my pointed or my slanted liner, liner brush and now what I like to do is just pull it all the way across and then fill in the gaps. I like to balance my little pinky finger on my cheek and this definitely just takes practice but believe me and with practice it makes perfect because I definitely you know I've been doing eyeliner like this since like middle school so you can start early. So now I'm bringing the line down to meet the where my line, lower lash line kind of goes up and then I'm meeting the line and then I'm filling it in. And I like to do a, a wing line because it kind of gives a little bit more drama to the look. And it just kind of extends your eye shape as well. Now I'm going to take the same gel liner and bring it onto the lower lash line to meet the edge of the wing. And I'm actually only going halfway and a little bit onto the lower lash line as well as the waterline. And I'm only going halfway because I don't want to close the eyelid completely. Um, if you go all the way in, it kind of makes your eyes look a little smaller. So now I'm going to take my small detailed shader brush and again that dark purple. Right here, tap off the excess. Always tap off so that way you don't have too much on your brush and it doesn't fall on your face. Now I'm just going to smudge out where I had that black liner and then applying the shadow on top of it will also kind of lock it into place so it doesn't smudge. Like that. Now I'm going to clean off that same brush, get a little bit of that silver color dry, and then apply it on the inner half. Like that. And then you can take that same brush, wipe it off again. I just, I'm just wiping it off on a towel to take off the previous color. And then I'm going to apply a little pop of that into the tear duct. And I'm also going to bring a little bit underneath too, just to brighten it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. apply some of this Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. And then I'm going to apply false lashes. This part is optional, but I will say that if you if you are going to prom, it's kind of something fun and a little bit extra special to do, and it will really take your look from looking pretty good to like amazing. So this is the Ardell Double Up Lashes in, sh in number 204. I'm using Duo Lash Glue. So this is a really fun lash because it's very voluminous because it's two lashes stacked on top of each other, which a, a more um, voluminous lash definitely gives like a really sexy eye look, kind of just like real like bombshell. I like the, this Duo Lash Glue because it's got a little stick right here you just paint it on to the lash band and then I what I also like to do just is put a little extra dot at the top and bottom edges and then I'll take that same um, glue and I'll dot it onto my lash line over the black eyeliner and by doing that it will give me a little extra stickiness on my lid so when I place the lash on it will grab it and it, it just ends up working out better so while your lash is drying, you want to let it dry for like 15 to 20 seconds. Just kind of take it and curl it and make it a little more flexible so it will fit your lash shape better. Okay, wait a couple seconds. And then I just like to kind of go down and like look, lean my head back so I can see my lash line. And I place it in the middle like that. And then I take the edges and I stick them where they need to go. And then I kind of like take my nail or a brush and press them in. So that's lashes. Now I'm going to kind of look at my eyeshadow and clean up as necessary. I'm taking a Q-tip and going underneath here. 
kind of matching low sides. This one looks look quite a smoky. Okay, and then you can see that when you have your lashes on, it kind of changes your eye shape a little bit. So I definitely seem like every time I put my lashes on, I go back with my colors and I can add a little bit more. So I'm adding a little more of that dark sh purple as my smoky shade. Like that. And a little bit more of the bronzer as my crease transition color. This to help blend. So there are your smoky eyes. Now let's move on to the face. I'd like to do the eyes first though, just in case you need a little bit of cleanup from any fallout. And you can take your little wet wipe or your baby wipe. Just clean up underneath to get any excess product. So moving on to the face, I'm already primed. I'm gonna show you a kind of different way to do your concealing and highlighting because everybody loves the brightened under eye looks like Kim Kardashian. So this is a physician's formula, gentle cover concealer stick in yellow. So what I'm gonna do is actually show you where you highlight. And I'm gonna do it pretty dramatically, but it won't look super dramatic because I'll show you a technique to soften it. So you're gonna draw in like where you wanna highlight. I do a triangle underneath my eyes, down the center of my nose. And I actually like to go underneath my, my um, contour line and a little bit on the chin. And you can do a little on your forehead too, like that. So it looks super dramatic, but you're gonna actually cover it with foundation. In the meantime, I'm just taking my finger, softening it out, I'm just kind of blending it into my skin. Don't worry if it looks crazy because it won't look crazy when you put foundation on top. This is called the Scott Barnes Foundation Technique and he has it in his makeup book and it's pretty cool. A little different. Okay, so I, as you can see, I kind of blended it in my skin. You want it to be like an even layer. So when you put your foundation on top, it everything looks smooth. I'm using L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup in shade W6 on Beige. Love this because it gives such a luminous, dewy look. It makes your skin really healthy looking. And I'm gonna put a pump onto the back of my hand, which I like to do with foundation because it's like a little palette. And then I'm taking a damp sponge. This is a drugstore alternative called the Soho brand from Walmart. But I love this for applying your foundation because it looks so natural. So I'm going to take the damp sponge, basically I ran it under a sink, and then I squeezed out all the excess and now it's like, it made the sponge a lot bigger and, and when it's damp, it helps to not absorb as all your foundation so you can, you know, you don't waste as much makeup and also it just gives your skin a lot more of a natural appearance. So I'm going to dab it onto the, onto the foundation on the back of my hand and then I'm going to just pounce it onto the skin including on top of where I put that yellow highlighter. And as you can see, the, it's lighter underneath, but it doesn't look quite as obvious. So you're dabbing on the skin, and definitely get onto your neck and to your jaw because you want to blend. Like this. And I like to use the pointy side in a little bit of the foundation to go underneath. This fits better into your eye when you use this pointy edge right here. Always make sure to get behind the nose because people like to skip that part. And don't forget to blend it into your hairline because you, you don't want any edges to show. And onto your ears. So as you can see, it looks so natural, but you could see it kind of has a highlighted lifted look where you had the yellow underneath. Now what I'm gonna do is set that foundation with powder because anything that's wet or liquid or cream on your face needs something powdery to lock it in so that way it will last and we want this makeup lasting all night. So I'm gonna take that same Neutrogena Oil Control Powder in my fan brush and I'm just going to set the whole face. This powder does have a little bit of a white finish to it because it's a translucent, but I'm gonna go in with a bronzer to correct that. 
So, speaking of bronzer, I'm using that Milani bronzer again, and I love the darker side for my contour. And contouring your face and highlighting your face is going to be really nice for prom because with all your pictures, um, it's going to look like your face is more defined and it won't look like such a big white blob like sometimes flash does. So I'm going to take my small dome contour, get a little bit on there, and I'm going to get right here. So I like to kind of pull my face to the side and chisel in my cheekbones. Now in general with photography makeup, you kind of try to avoid sunscreen because it's going to be at night. You don't really need it as much as you would during the day. But sunscreen tends to flash back in pictures, meaning when you take a picture, it will look kind of like your face is really white. So try to avoid that. Um, you might want to test out your foundation first by doing um, like a take your, your picture wearing your foundation to see if it has a lot of flashback because some foundations with sunscreen do. So here I am contouring my cheekbones and this also brings color to my face. And I like to go with like a C formation. You can go as dramatic or as light as you want. You can even go onto the sides of your nose. And even under here to kind of mask any like double chin action. Okay, and for a little bit of extra highlighting, I really love the um, that Lumi concealer because it's really, really light and natural. And I'm gonna twist it up and apply a little bit under the eye and on my nose like that. And right above the cupid's bow right there. Those are the highlighted areas. And I just take my finger and I just blend in. And this is also gonna kind of highlight your face and give your face a little bit more glow. And make sure to blend everything in really well. Like I said, if you're doing your makeup yourself for prom, you might want to take a uh, picture test, like snap a shot with your digital camera or your phone. So that way you can make sure everything looks right on camera. Okay, so now that we have all that done, I'm gonna to move to cheek color. What I actually like to do, which is kind of like a little trick, is take a bronzer. I'm going to take the lighter side of this Milani Duo and apply it to my cheeks, a little bit on my nose. And that's, you, you might not even notice that. It's going to give a little bit of color, but the sparkle in the bronzer is going to look so pretty when you put blush on top. It gives a really lit from within look to put bronzer first and then blush. So I'm using this Jane blush in soft mink. This soft pink color goes good with kind of every look. This is a really um, inexpensive drugstore blush as well. So I get it onto my brush, tap off the excess, and go right on top. Now, don't be afraid to use a little extra blush on prom because it's nighttime and you can get away with more makeup and also it shows up better in pictures if you wear a little bit more blush. Another option is to take a cream blush or a gel blush underneath and then layer it so it lasts a little bit longer. Okay, there's your blush. Now we can move on to our lips. So I have a really, really bright, bright, bright lip option which I'm gonna finish for you guys. So the first thing that you wanna do is line your lips. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil and Fab Fuchsia, 99 cents at the drugstore. Now you want to align your lips because it's cool. this is going to make your lip look perfect. And also if you fill them in all the way, it will really make it your lip last all night. It almost act as like a stain. Okay, so you have your lip on. I'm actually going to follow it up with some really fabulous lipstick. This is, again, Wet n Wild, number 996, 966, Don't Blink Pink. And it's an amazing hot pink. So I'm going right on top. And again, with makeup, the more layers, the longer the makeup will last. So... And then I top it off with a gloss, and I like this gloss. Um, this is 
Maybelline Color Sensational because it's got a tint to it. So when you do need to touch up, just bring your tinted gloss and you're good to go. So I'm gonna put that right on top. And it lightens it up a little bit, makes it a little more bright. Okay, so this is this option that you have right here. But if you don't like it, you can always switch it out for a nude lip because that's a little bit more wearable. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm going to moisturize my lips with Baby Lips from Maybelline, love this. And beginning with the makeup process, if you prep your lips first with a little bit of lip moisturizer and let it sink in, that way by the time you're ready to put on your lip product, last, it'll be nice and soft, but you don't want it to be too slick because then the product won't stick to your lips. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to a new lip option. I'm going to take another lip liner, but this one's a little bit more natural. It's called Honey Dip by Jordana. And Georgiana is available at, I believe, Walgreens. Again, it's like a $2 lip pencil. And you're going to line and fill in as well. Like I said, I like doing this to make your lips last all night. And what you could also do is apply a little bit of concealer first, um, whatever you use on your face, and that way it will make it an even more nude lip combo. So now I'm going to take another Maybelline Color Sensational Gloss in Luminous Latte and apply it right on top. And this is what I would throw on my purse to touch up. And I love these glosses because they're so pigmented. Okay, so that is your other option. What I would do last is take um, a little makeup setting spray if you have some. And this is your prom makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I went very, very thorough because I figured if you are going to do this makeup from prom, you want to know everything about how to do it. And I'm sorry if it seemed a little basic and you knew some of the stuff already, but just wanted to be um, on the safe side and give you guys a little extra tip. So this is my prom makeup tutorial. I will have pictures and products used on my blog at makeupbybrennan.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do this look, please send me a video response or a picture. And I hope you guys have a fabulous prom. Send me pictures. So until next time, I hope you have a fabulous night. Ciao, Bellas.